Welcome back to Nando Talk. Today we'll be talking about the state of the secondary for the Miami Dolphins. That is right. In honor of the new Javon Holland jersey, young Ocho, I love you, Mr. Snowman. We are going to be talking about this elite, elite top secondary in the NFL. Number one in my book. You know, we're definitely top three. By all records, top five according to the national media. But top number one after this season. It all starts with Xavier Howard, the X-Man. The X Factor, whatever you want to call him, I call him lock down. Nothing gets back Xavier Howard. You give him man coverage, you give him zone coverage, boom, he'll erase your man. He'll understand the assignment. That is the guy. In the run game, he'll hit the tackles. He's a hard hitter, man. Forced three fumbles last year. He's a turnover machine. I think he had five picks. Like, that guy is a play waiting to happen. The X-Man, I loved him coming out of Baylor, second-round guy. The only knock on him was that he did a little bit of penalties in holding. I don't care because he's cleaned that up, and he, like I said, is perfect in man and zone. In my book, number one corner in the game, easily top three. Easily top three. You're going to be hearing me say that for a lot of our guys because that's how good our secondary is. You know, that Xavier Howard, a lot of the top corners in the league, they struggle in run game. They struggle. They're either zone guys or man guys. Xavier Howard does it all, all three facets of the game. He'll erase anything you need to, and he just plays with all heart. He's the heartbeat of this defense, and I love him. When he gets those pick sixes, when he gets those big pass deflections, those big breakups, that's what he was asked. It was known for at Baylor, and he's known, known, known for that in the NFL. Give me him over any corner any day. Because Xavier Howard will create those plays, and he won't let up 1,100 yards like Trevon Diggs. You know, Xavier Howard is a monster. And on the other side, Byron Jones. What a great addition we got from him from Dallas. I know he's had his ups and downs, but man, that is one athletic dude. I remember him coming out of the combine with a huge broad jump, and he just broke the world record. I think he had like, what, like 10 feet or something? It was something ridiculous. Now, or meters. I don't know how this shit works. No, meters sounds way too much. Anyways, um, I'm not here to talk about combine. I'm here to talk about football because Byron Jones... That man could be a corner one on almost any team in the league. He's just outside the top 10 corners, maybe, probably. He could probably argue his way back into top 10 with a good season this year. But, you know, I'm still excited. Anytime you've got those two good of corners, oh, my God. Your secondary can just, your defensive coordinator can just match and play and just do whatever he wants. He doesn't have to worry about any holes. Because then that slot corner, we break back Nick Needham, number 40. I'm so happy we got him to sign that second round tender, you know. Gives us another year to work out those details on the contract because that man at 25, 26 years old, he was an undrafted free agent, has grinded his butt off to get to where he is today. And I love to see the level of success that he is going to continue having in this league. It is awesome to see a UDFA like that just grind and grow. And that's how awesome it is to see him continue making plays he had two interceptions i think last year one of those big in that saints game you know nick is a guy who's going to keep growing and 413 man coverage snaps he let up zero tds that was number one in the nfl with the longest man coverage snaps without a td that's hype i'm going to love to see that keep growing in our offensive and our def- our aggressive defensive scheme you know wow that tripped me up but that defensive Aggressive scream is going to be awesome to see them just blitzing and doing a lot more man coverages. And it's good to know that Nicky Needham can handle that assignment. You go to our safeties. Wow. Oh, wow. Was Javon Holland a freaking snag? Wow. What a player. Second rounder out of Oregon. I love to see young Ocho just keep growing and just keep developing in the secondary. He was already the fourth rated safety last year according to pff you know that's awesome for a rookie you know he just plugged and played right into our defense i always talk about it that ravens game how electric he was seeing him blitzing you could truly see his athleticism chasing guys down like lamar freaking jackson making a nightmare for him he's awesome in coverage too getting great picks he's just making plays out there he just oh just we miss that presence in the secondary, just being able to lump around, wakata, wakata, just womp down the balls and just make some freaking plays. Because you know who else makes plays? Mr. 29, one of my personal Dolphins favorites. I'm probably getting his jersey next. Sorry, Ryan Tannehill. Brandon freaking Jones, number round three, 70th pick out of Texas, 2020. What a great guy. Year two, he finally busted out. 
had a phenomenal year to year two and i'm so pumped for year three my god is he gonna continue to ball and continue to grow he's a smaller guy but he freaking hits he makes plays he got banged up a tiny bit last season but besides that he was on the field just making plays i know a lot of people like eric rowe he's a veteran but the hope is that brandon jones continues to grow on that year two and bump to year three with him and holland that is one of the most exciting young safety duos in the NFL, and they can just continue to just develop together. I'm so excited for that prospect of a free safety and a strong safety, that tandem in the backfield. Uh, yeah, yeah, again, that Ravens game, watching them both just blitz down was beautiful. Absolutely stunning football. I'm excited to see what Josh Boyer to continue to do with them. So we get to coaching, guys. Oh, we get to coaching. We've brought legends, Sam Madison and Pat Sertain Sr., two Dolphins goats, two guys who know what it means to be a lockdown Miami Dolphins corner. Wow, I am pumped for them. I'm pumped to see what they can do with developing such promising like talent. Xavier Howard has already talked about talking to these Dolphins legends and wow, how it's going to help him jump up to another level. Another level for Xavier Howard? The guy who was just riding so hard about being so good, about understanding every assignment given to him, is now going to be able to give the secrets, the keys to the kingdom to unlock a next level? Yes, please, give me any wide receiver one. We will lock you down. Your quarterback will have his best friend gone. I don't care who you are. Stephen Howard will take care of that assignment under the Sam, the, the Sam Madison and Pat Sertain coaching. You know, because these guys are studs, you know. Sam Madison, we already brought him over from the Chiefs, you know. He was a defensive back coordinator over there, so it's not like he doesn't have experience. And to make a lateral move means he believes in Mike McDaniel, which I love to see that Dolphins legend continuing to believe in Mike. Players on the field and players of old supporting your head coach is a great sign. Pat, speaking of head coaches, Pat Sertain Sr. was already a head coach at American Heritage High School, where I went to high school. Let's ride. He took over um, right before I graduated, so he was the coach in 2016. Um, it was kind of cool to hear about Pat Sertain taking over um, 2016, in 2017, I think. I might have just graduated. Um, but he was, he was able to coach that Pat Sertain junior class. The Ty Campbell went to, went to the Jaguars in the second round. Marco Wilson, who played at UF and went to the Cardinals this year. Those are three great corners who he was able to grow and develop. Those are just guys who just got handed to him in high school and now he was able to take them and mold them to college prospects who ended up becoming NFL guys. You know, I'm excited to see what he can do with actual NFL guys. Guys who he's, this is his only job. He doesn't have to worry about the little politics of running, a, of working at a high school and managing all these other high school players. He just has to focus on secondary, the things that he loves with the Dolphins, the place he loves. I know how comfy of a job Heritage was for him, just dominating, winning state titles. He had a great program hand to him after Oach Mike Rumpf went you know, that same Mike Rumpf, yeah, from the 01 Miami class who went to the first round. Yeah, he ended up, he was our head coach with Sony Michelle and Isaiah McKenzie. And then he ended up being the coach, uh, DB coach at UM. You know, Mike Rumpf, that's the guy he took the torch from. And now he's for the Dolphins. I love that. That is a great sign of just NFL dominance. You know, we're bringing these NFL legends to coach with us. And I love that Sam and Pat are coaching with the Dolphins. It's great to see what they can just take these men to do to the next level. Guys, like I said, Javon Holland and Brandon Jones are going to soak up so much information from these young, these sharp minds, you know. It's like these sharp minds of Holland and Brandon Jones and Nick Needham are just going to keep growing and just keep learning all the tactics, tactics and techniques all those little points that they can be refined in, all those little nuances in their game that can be touched up, Sam Madison and Pat Sertain are going to analyze, and it's going to be awesome to just see this NFL secondary, this Dolphin secondary, that is already one of the best in the league, just everyone kicking it up a next gear, everybody take it up to the next level. I'm in love with the Dolphin secondary. I already have Howard. I already got Javon Holland. I'm probably going to get a Brandon Jones there just to fill it out. It is beautiful. What a time to be a Miami Dolphin. What a time to be a Finns fan. And what a time to be a fan of defense. If you like defense, get yourself to a Dolphins game. Watch our secondary. Just swat down balls out of the sky. Let nothing pass them. Just lock everything down. We even got young guys who I didn't even talk about. Guys like Noah Bonogany, who hopefully in year three under guys like Madison and Pat Sertain can bring out the best in him. You know, that's a former first round pick. He was a great prospect out of Auburn. We can't give up on him. You know, year three is the year for a lot of guys. Hello, baby Tua. Let's go. You know, hello. 
let low Brandon Jones year three. You know, I'm pumped for the Dolphins, pumped for the secondary. Let's go.